Aloha! This video is created to help my students solve a problem in my introductory financial accounting class that they were a little bit confused on. And so hopefully this will help out a little bit. Basic situation is you have 14 shares of 8% $100 par value cumulative preferred stock. That's outstanding. Okay, So let's go ahead and put in the facts. You got 14 shares of 8%. Now make sure that you know the difference between 0.08 and 0 0.8. 0 0.08 is 8%. 0 0.8 is equal to 80%. Okay, so I have had students get this problem wrong because they think that 8% is equivalent to 0.8 when you're putting it into your calculator. No, it's not. It's 0.08. Okay, so just watch out for that. The par value is 100 bucks, And the dividends in arrears, which means since these are cumulative preferred stock shares, that means that maybe in a prior year um, the preferred stockholders had hoped to receive their dividend preference, but the company chose not to declare enough dividend to pay those. So they go into this kind of, it's like a, where they just kind of keep track of these dividends that they would have liked to have paid, but they couldn't at the time. So they put it in arrears. It's not a liability. But if the dividends ever are declared, that could cover that, they will pay it. So basically, dividends and arrears, these are from the past. They're not a liability. But if dividends are paid in the future, these will be paid out first. Okay, And then there's the annual dividend preference. And what that means is how much would these preferred stockholders, for all 14 shares, um, expect to get per year? So let's go ahead and do the math. One way you can do it is you can say, OK, if we've got a hundred dollar par value and that's supposed to pay eight percent per year that would give you eight dollars per year and then you say how many shares are there there's fourteen so the annual dividend preference would be a hundred and twelve dollars per year so if the company pays enough dividend to cover all the dividends and arrears any excess above and beyond that will go to the current year annual dividend preference so let's see how much in dividends were declared? Let's keep reading. Uh, there was 166, so actual dividends declared. Okay, so actual dividends declared is 166. So the next question is, if 166 is declared, how much of that first goes to less, so we'll say less dividends in arrears. And that is 29. Well, as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and format these all the same. 29. Well, that leaves us 137 for the current year annual dividend preference. So we'll say less annual dividend preference. And that's 112. Okay, so this is left over dividends for common stock. Take that, minus that. Okay, so now the question says, how much of this 166 will go to preferred shareholders? Well, total preferred shareholders, total preferred, we'll call it total preferred dividends to those shareholders, would have to be and I'll just put them one by one, would have to be the dividends and arrears that were paid this year, as well as the annual dividend preference. So if you add those two up, you get 141, and that's your answer. Now, if, if I were to give you the same question, I'd say, well, how much of this 166 goes to the common stockholders? You'd go through a similar process, but you, the answer would be 25, because that's what's left over after the 141 is paid to the preferred stockholders. Okay, so that's maybe a little more detailed. Obviously, you can do the math a little bit faster. In fact, some of you could probably do this math in your head, but I just wanted to show it in detail how that's broken out and how we cover dividends and arrears first, and then whatever's left over goes to the current year annual dividend preference. And after that, then the common stockholders get their share. Aloha.